Ric Flair's last match. Sunday, July 31st at the Nashville Municipal Auditorium. Leading up to the event, we showcase Ric Flair's journey back to the ring in the exclusive docuseries, Ric Flair, The Last Match. As we unveil the star-studded matches that make up the card this Monday at 6.05 Eastern, we reveal the main event, Ric Flair's last match. Who will be standing across the ring from the Nature Boy? The world finds out this Monday at 6.05 Eastern. Ric Flair's Last Match com. Mandy Rose versus Roxanne Perez. So Mandy comes out for a promo first. Roxanne is not woman enough to challenge her. Won't come out, she says. And there's dueling chance of shut the hell up and let her talk. Nobody can challenge me, she says. At which point Cora Jade comes out very gently, very carefully <laughs> cradling a skateboard. Yeah. She says, these people were promised an NXT title match. They're going to get one. But then Roxanne Perez comes out with her taped ribs. Well, it's funny when Mandy's doing this promo, and uh, she does her whole promo, and she gets done, and then there's, like, awkward silence, and she stands there, and she's wrapped up, and she has nothing more to say, <laughs> and she's just standing there, and then suddenly they hit Cord Jade's music, and then Mandy is so upset to be interrupted. Yes. I was like, you weren't even talking. You hadn't said anything for five seconds. You should fucking celebrate somebody finally came out to end that awkward <laughs> silence. So Roxanne comes out with her taped ribs. Cora tries to talk her out of it, but then says, go get it. I saw a guy in the but crowd. But in a way that was like, go get it. it was like, like, you're going to go get yeah. your ass kicked. May, may as well. Go get it, yeah. Uh, I saw the guy in the crowd with the coffee and whiskey shirt, which is ironically exactly what I was drinking while watching the show. So uh, Roxanne's awesome. Ah, oh, she's great. The the The... the they could have had a better match if they're not doing the injury angle. Because the injury angle limited Roxanne to not doing anything for 80% of the time. Just selling, grabbing her ribs and screaming is what she did. She's great at this. And so when she finally made her comeback, the crowd was totally into it. But uh, it would have been better if she, they just let her do a match. But anyway. She's out on the floor fighting off a, a tr toxic attraction all by herself. She posts GG. She posts JC. And she hits Pop Rocks on Mandy on the floor. And she sells her ribs after hitting this move. She's in a code red on the floor. Hurts her ribs. Cora is there to encourage her. Somewhere in here. Oh, she's a tag champ. She has her tag belt with her. And she, as uh, as uh, Roxanne's getting back into the ring, Cora Jade hits her with a tag belt. And Roxanne goes down. And she's looking at Cora. With, she's been betrayed. And... Mandy euthanizes her with a running knee and pins her, and Mandy is still a champion, and way to go, cashing in that top prospect tournament contract, Roxanne Perez. So Roxanne's down. She, she, she's conscious, but she can't move. She can't defend herself. And so Cora's tearing into her verbally. You're very selfish, she says. And she's going to do something violent and hateful. And she is so angry, so powerful is her rage. That her skateboard shatters under the very power of her grip. Yes. And she swings it up. And the thing breaks in two as it's being swung upwards. And then she, like, throws the first half at her and picks up the first half and is whacking her. It's all very hey, sad. Hey, listen, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. I, I saw g animated gifts of this all night, and it's like, how about you gift that Indy Hartwell versus Lash Legend match? Because that one was... That was worse. Yes. This was, you know, they wanted to do a deal where she broke the skateboard over her back. They didn't want to hurt her, so they gimmicked the skateboard. They gimmicked it too well, so it broke. And, I mean, to Cora Jade's credit, I mean, she lifts up and the thing shatters, and she barely misses a beat. She starts hitting her with the part that hadn't broken yet, and they did the best they could. And apparently they when they did the – there's a video package online on, like, WWE.com or whatever, social media – and uh, they did a hell of a job, apparently, editing it Whoever, so you couldn't... The clip I saw on Peacock, I, apparently it was from the Peacock Network, and these people legitimately need to win an Academy Award. <laughs> I, ILM has never done an effect this good. Well, yes. Yeah, so uh, so they did that, and, you know, I got questions. Like, what the fuck's going on? Because <laughs> we knew, we knew that Cora Jade was going to turn for a while, as soon as she started talking about her best friend. But apparently it has been planned for a long time. Like, this is a long-term deal. It had been planned that they were going to win the tag titles and Cora would turn on her a week later. That was like the plan from the get-go. So it's like, so now what's your plan? You, your plan 
was to create new women's tag team champions and then break them up the next week. Yeah. What's your plan now? They're, they're still are champions. Are they vacating? They are still the champions. Are they going to have to wrestle together? Maybe that's their way to kill the belts. Like, I'll, I'll give them a week or two <clears throat> to find out what the uh, ingenious solution to this is. But uh, sometimes you see things like this and it's because shit happened somewhere. That's not what happened here. This was planned. This yeah. was the planned storyline, timing-wise and everything, for this title win and breakup. So I want to see where they're going. Because I can't, I just, I can't imagine they've got, I mean, maybe they do. We'll see. Get the benefit of the doubt, right? I guess. We'll see how it plays out. NXT 2.0 deserve the benefit of the doubt? I knew it. Sangha versus Lee. Stands on Lee's chest when she's down. Bangs her, uh, her on the apron. Pull, um, puts elbow on her chin. Through her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, no. Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend a versus woman. Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. Again, a little I... guy? It's now more... Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. No. no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.